I'm Kendra with Where's Moon Astrology, and today I am talking about Aries and Capricorn relationship compatibility. I want to make a quick note that uh, this is not going to be like a, you know, relationship reading. This is just a general um, how the signs will be interacting with, with each other. Uh, they're kind of overall dynamic. So if, you know, you're Capricorn dominant or Aries dominant, but you're not a Capricorn or Aries sun, it could still apply to you. Um, but in general, if you want a lot more specific detail, you'd want to get a relationship check, uh, relationship reading with me. Um, that would go into, you know, a lot more depth, you know, the planets interacting with one another, the house overlays, etc. Um, this is just going to be more of a fun surface level analysis of the two signs together. So, Aries and Capricorn, these are both cardinal signs. So we've got Aries, uh, cardinal fire, and Capricorn is cardinal earth. Now, in some ways, this pair can work very well together. Um, Aries and Capricorn are both initiators. They're both highly ambitious. Uh, Aries is going to have the passion to start new things. Um, they're going to have the, you know, the creative spark, the passion, um, a lot of the ideas. Uh, they're going to bring a lot of that enthusiasm to the table. And Capricorn is really good about the actual hard work um, a little bit more meticulous, detail-oriented, um, very, very much about putting in the effort to make something grow. Um, whereas Aries is is more about you know bringing that passion. So if they can make these two things work together and you know make them complementary to one another, um, then this could be a really great dynamic for you know ambitious activities. Uh, you know, starting a new business together could be a fruitful endeavor. And there are some problems associated with that too, but I'll get into that in a little bit. You know, they're going to have a, a pretty a pretty decent le level of attraction to one another, I think, because of this tension. Um, it seems that whenever there's a lot of tension between two signs, they tend to be pretty attracted to one another. Um, so Aries and Capricorn, these are square signs, and they're going to be pretty attracted to one another because of this kind of tension going on and the, the fact that they can kind of feel the differences in one another. Um, now, I think Capricorn would really enjoy Aries, Aries' lust for life. You know, they'd be really attracted to Aries' uh, enthusiasm. They'd be really attracted to Aries' ability to make them laugh and to, it'd be kind of, I really hate saying this as an Aries, but <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Aries is a child of the Zodiac, and Capricorn is the parent of the Zodiac, um, partic in particular the father of the Zodiac. So with Capricorn and Aries, there can be a bit of a dynamic to where Aries, it, you know, has all these antics going on. Aries is um, constantly putting on a front. Aries is constantly talking about the latest thing that's irritated them or, you know, um, just what's going on in their mind at any given moment, bringing a lot of, again, I talked about this in the Aries and Sagittarius video, Aries is just passionate about everything. And then you've got Capricorn, who's, you know, the kind of parental figure. So I think that Capricorn would find Aries antics kind of adorable, like, <laughs> oh, little one, settle down. That kind of is what I think of with um, Capricorn and Aries dynamic. Um, and then Aries would be really attracted to Capricorn's, like, maturity. They'd be really attracted to Capricorn's <clears throat> competence and their ability to um, adult and you know, take care of business in a really practical way. So they'd be really attracted to these things in each other. Um, but I think because it's a square, there's more tension than there is um, compatibility. And I've said this in all the uh, compatibility videos, I'm not going to condemn any astrological pairing. There's so much more that goes into a relationship chart than just sun sign or um, you know, sign dominance or anything like that. So I'm not going to condemn any pair, but there are very specific challenges that present themselves with any kind of square relationship. And with Aries and Capricorn, this is the kind of dynamic that can happen. Because there's this kind of parent-child dynamic almost, um, I mean, just imagine, just imagine how that could play out. You know, Aries is a grown adult in a relationship with a Capricorn. Um, 
and may feel that Capricorn looks down on them or talks down to them or thinks of them as immature, which is probably accurate. Um, you know, Aries is very, very passionate and the very thing that Capricorn finds adorable about Aries, you know, bringing that passion to the table, um, meeting things with that kind of childlike quality, meeting every situation in life with that childlike quality. Um, that's the very thing that Capricorn finds adorable about Aries at first, but eventually becomes exhausted by it. You know, why do I always have to babysit you? Why do I always have to make you do the adult thing? Can be kind of Capricorn's, um, Capricorn's feeling about Aries. And then Aries would come, would it feel about Capricorn that they were stifling them, that they were trying to um, put them in a box, trying to make them adhere to their structure and um, force them to participate in a kind of uh, lifestyle or system that Aries is not comfortable with being that they don't want to do what anyone tells them to do. So Capricorn and Aries, it's, there's a lot of parent-child kind of dynamics that can happen with Capricorn and Aries, and it can be exhausting for both people because, you know, Aries has a very quick response time, a very reactive sign. So they might rage against Capricorn very easily when Capricorn tries to assert any kind of control over Aries. Um, in fact, it's it's more likely than not that they would rage in that situation. And Capricorn um, is not unfeeling, but they're very dry. So they would meet Aries with this kind of dry authoritarian um, approach, parental approach, uh, that pisses Aries off even more. Because when Capricorn's not even willing to fight and just shuts Aries down, uh, I mean, that may, nothing makes Aries more mad than not being given the chance to fight and the chance to assert themselves um, and win the argument. They don't want to be shut down. They want to fight it out, usually. So that can really piss Aries off when Capricorn comes, comes at them with this kind of dry, uh, no, that's not how it's going to be. I've said it's going to be this way, and it's going to be this way. That can really make Aries mad, and understandably. Um, but then, you know, it's also understandable that Capricorn would get tired of feeling like a parent to their partner. So it's not particularly fair for anyone involved. It's best to be conscious of this dynamic happening um, in order to make it work. It's, you're going to have to be conscious of this dynamic in order to make it work together. Back to what I was saying about how these this pair might be good in business together, um, again, they would really have, this is a great dynamic for starting something new, for starting a new business. You know, Aries, again, would bring that passion and that drive, and then Capricorn would bring the commitment and the ability to follow through. Um, however, again, that kind of parent-child dynamic can happen to where Aries has the passion, but they don't really have much else going on. Uh, they're not really wanting to um, commit to what is already in place. Um, and what I mean by that is that Aries will bring that passion for the start of this new business venture or whatever kind of venture it is. Um, and then they'll get bored and they'll want to start something new. And they might even be within the same business. I'm not saying that they won't commit to the business that they've started at all, but they, instead of focusing on building what is already in place once they've started this uh, new venture, um, they wouldn't want to commit to really focusing on what's already in place so much. They would want to start something new. They would be all about the next idea and how can we build without building? <laughs> How can we build this up even more without laying the foundation? And Capricorn is all about laying the foundation. They would want to commit to um, what has been started and focus on what is working until you have a good solid foundation and then kind of build from there. But no, Aries really wants to just keep building and building and building. Um, not the most practical approach. Kind of needs some Capricorn or Saturn stuff going on in order to um, make a business work like that. One more positive thing that I will say about Aries and Capricorn is that um, I was saying in the Aries and Sagittarius video that there can be a lack of staying power without Earth planets um, 
or Saturn involved in their dynamic because they're both so independent, both so ready to bail. And Aries gets pissed off one time and um, they can just try to bail. And I think with Capricorn, they would meet a little more resistance there. Um, so Aries might get pissed off and try to bail on the relationship altogether. But because Capricorn is Capricorn and Capricorn is all about commitment and all about, you know, building and growing, um, they might have a little more of the drive to say, no child, <laughs> sit down, we're going to discuss this and we're going to, we're going to make this work. You know, in a really low vibe Capricorn, that could be abusive in the sense that they won't let Aries leave, but, um, you know, because low vibe Capricorn can be really controlling, but then, you know, low vibe Aries can be violent. So I'm not talking about, um, talking crap about either one of these signs, but uh, I think Capricorn would bring a little more of the staying power to this dynamic than um, Aries and the, um, another more flighty or super independent sign. Capricorn is not codependent by any means, but they are definitely more committed and more uh, involved as far as you know, the practical details. And that can really that can really frustrate Aries, um, but it is going to be the thing that could make this dynamic work long term, even though there's a lot of tension going on. So anyway, that was my analysis of Aries and Capricorn relationship compatibility. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and have a great day.